Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to add India Mart leads to Google Sheets. So here my objective is that as soon as I'm going to receive a new lead from India Mart, which is most popular B2B platform of India, then I want to add the details of that same lead in my Google Sheets with all the same details. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between India Mart and Google Sheets and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take India Mart and in action, we are going to take Google Sheets. And we will connect both of them in order to automate this entire process without a single requirement of coding and programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to add India Mart leads and inquiries to our Google Sheets. Okay, so as we know, India Mart is the biggest B2B platform in India. Okay, I want that whenever a new lead will be received from India Mart, I want to add the details of that lead in my Google Sheets. Now, because I want this entire process to be automated, I do not want to do it manually each time. Therefore, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software, with the help of which I'm going to set up a connection between my India Mart and Google Sheets. And that too, without any coding or programming skills. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect, where we can reach by tapping this URL, pabli.com slash connect. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. And let me tell you that once you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. And with those 100 free tasks, you will be able to send 100 leads from India Mart for free to Google Sheets. Okay, so because I'm already an existing user of Fably Connect, so I'm going to directly click on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And we can find that it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders over here very easily to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. So let's do that. And here our dialog box will appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Add India Mart leads to Google Sheets automatically. After giving the name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I want to save this workflow in this India Mart automations folder. I have selected that and now let's click on create. So as we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So as I told you that Pabli Connect works on these two principles, trigger and actions. So the trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation of Pabli Connect works. The trigger here says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. They Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose here our objective is that whenever a lead will be generated from India Mart, automatically that same lead should be added in our Google Sheets along with all the details. So we are going to take India Mart as our trigger and Google Sheets in our action. And as soon as a lead will be generated, automatically the details of that lead will be added in our Google Sheets. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the lead and inquiry is generated from India Mart, then only action also happens that means then only the row is added in google sheets with the new details okay so here after understanding the concept of trigger and action let's start creating the workflow step by step first of all we have to select our trigger application over here now because our objective is that whenever a lead will be generated from india mart the response of that lead should be captured over here so clearly our trigger application here will be india mart let's select that Okay, so after selecting the trigger application, now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new leads will be our trigger event over here because whenever a lead will be generated in India Mart, automatically the response of that lead will be captured over here and with that response, the workflow is going to trigger. Okay, now we are going to click on connect. And now we will have to build a connection with our India Mart account. For that, we have two options, add new connection or select existing connection. So I'm going to go with add new connection over here to create a new connection with my India Mart account. But in case if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. Now, as you have selected add new connection, we will move forward. And to build a connection with India Mart account, we have to provide a CRM key over here. So from where we are going to find the CRM key, for that the instructions are provided to us very clearly. We have to log in to our India Mart account and then we have to go towards settings section. 
questions under that we will find our crm key so i'm going to take you towards my india mart account now so i have already logged in to my india mart account now we have to go to our settings section over here and here we will find the option of account settings when you will select that here is the option of crm api let's select that and now from here we can generate our new api key so if you have already generated just copy the key but if you want to generate a new key then you can click on this generate key button to generate a new key over here so because i have already generated my key i'm just going to copy it and now i'm going to go back towards pabli connect and i will paste the key over here okay done now we will click on save as we have done that we can find that india mart is successfully connected with pabli connect now because india mart works on 24 hours polling time so now when we are going to click on save and send test request button we are going to receive the lead response of the last lead which was added in india mart okay so now i'm going to click on save and send test request button and we can find that here we have received the response of the last lead which was added in india mart so this is unique query id subject state of the lead madhya pradesh this is the name of the lead demo user here is the mobile number of the lead email address as well as here is the city sender's address that means the lead address and here is the product name okay and the query message the inquiry which we have received from india mart we want to get grid solar power system for our on site office quantity is 10 piece okay and here we can find that we have received all the details of this lead name email address phone number the query as well so this means that our connection between india mart and public connect is successful so now after building the connection between india mart and public connect our objective is that whenever a lead will be generated from india mart automatically the details of that lead should be added in our google sheets so for that i have prepared a spreadsheet which contains name email phone number and the inquiry which we have received from the lead as soon as a lead will be generated from india mart automatically as a new row the details of that same lead will be added in my spreadsheet okay so for that we have to connect this spreadsheet with public connect so let's move towards our workflow here in our action application i'm going to search for google sheets and let's select that and now we have to select the action event that will be add new row so we have selected that because we want that whenever a lead will be generated from india mart a new row should be added in our google sheets along with all the details now we will click on connect and now we have to build a connection with google sheets as well okay so let's click on this add new connection to build a new connection with google sheets account but in case if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that now as we have clicked on add new connection we have to click on the sign in with google button and as we have done that now we have to select our account so public connect is now asking us for the permission to access our google account it is 100% safe so let's click on allow as we have done that we can find that our authorization has become successful very easily so as i was already logged in to my google sheets the authorization has become successful very easily without much efforts now after building the connection we have to move forward and here we have to select some details first of all we have to select our spreadsheet so the name of my spreadsheet is india mart lead details so i'm going to go back and from the drop down i'm going to select the same spreadsheet india mart lead details okay so after selecting the spreadsheet we can find that the sheet name is also selected automatically because here i have created only one sheet okay so the sheet one is also selected now on the next we have to enter the name email phone number and the inquiry all these details are the same as the columns which we have in our google sheets so because my objective is to create a record of all my india mart leads in my google sheets and that to automatically therefore one by one we are going to map the data over here in these fields so as you know that we have already received all the details from our earlier response that means from india mart response therefore we are going to simply map the data mapping is inserting data from previous step so here our previous step is given and here are all the details which we have received from india mart we want to map the name first of all so let us search for name and it has redirected us towards the name of the lead let's select that and it is mapped so when we have mapped this name that means it has become dynamic so it is going to replace with each and every new response now so that means now whenever we are going to receive a new lead from india mart automatically in these fields the data which we are going to map are going to be replaced with a new data of that new lead but in case if we will enter the name or any other data manually over here in these fields then the data will become static and then it is not going to change or replace with each and every new response then the workflow will get stuck and then we will not be able to automate the process of adding our india mart leads to google sheets to create a record therefore in order to automate the process smoothly we use mapping now in the same manner let's map the email as well so this is the email of the lead let's select that and done now here the next we want is the phone number so let's map the phone number over here and at last the inquiry so here we have received the query message we have searched the message over here and it has redirected us towards the query message let's select that we want to get grid solar power system for our on site office quantity 10 piece i have mapped that and done now let's click on save and send test request button after mapping all the details 
and we can find that here we have received the response as we have received the response so let's go and check whether automatically the data is added in google sheets or not and yes here we can find that the data is added automatically as a new row in our google sheets this is the name email phone number and the inquiry that we have received from the lead okay so this means that our connection between india mart and google sheets is perfectly successful so now whenever we are going to receive a new lead from india mart automatically the details of that lead will be added in our google sheets as a new row in this way we are going to create a record of all our lead details in google sheets that to automatically so you can also very easily create this automation by following the same steps which i have told you in this video all right so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations